Period. Hey you guys, so today we are about to do a blowout and then we're going to put some rollers in our hair. Hopefully everything comes out really, really good. I need to straighten my hair a little bit, but I didn't want to like fully flat iron it. I don't want to silk press, I want something nice and full and voluptuous because I'm in a dire need to get my ends clipped and I'm nervous to allow someone else to do this so we are gonna try to do a blowout at home so I just washed my hair um, I'm about to section everything out so we can get started so these are what my curls are looking like and I'm going to be working in really small sections because I really want my hair to like actually get straight so in terms of products I'm going to be using the protecting silk blowout is their quick drying thermal spray um I actually really like this product because it also helps to um detangle a little bit which I already did by using the Tilay Wajid how do you say this the great detangler I ain't gonna count to you um it took a while for me to detangle my hair, but I'm not going to blame it on this product. My hair is tangling so much because I need a really good trim. So, I don't know if you guys can see this, but baby, all this right here is new growth. And when you stretch it out, it's about like, literally like five to six inches of growth. I know that's right. Like, literally, I know y'all see the definition. Like, I know you see the line of demarcation. This is how much my hair has been growing. So, my hair is growing. The only thing that I need to really get on top of is retaining my length. Which is why I need to clip my ends. Because your hair isn't going to grow if your ends are split and your hair keeps splitting up on the shaft. And I'm actually going to be using heat with this blow dryer today, which I have never done before. I usually only use it on cool. But like I said, I need to get my roots um, a little straight so I can see, so I can like actually determine how uneven my hair is. Because I have been trimming my hair in its curly state and not in its straight state. Oh, look at the curls in the back. All right, so I put the spray all over the section, and now I'm just going to go in with this Revlon blow dryer. I believe this is also linked on my Amazon storefront, so make sure you click the description so you can, you know, get to the direct link. And what I'll be doing to really get my roots straight is going in a downwards motion, kind of towards my face. And then to get volume, I'm going to go away from my face in an upwards motion hope that makes sense so i'm literally going to like just go through the entire process because i know it's a lot of people that actually want to see exactly how people achieve the blowout style so just stay tuned <laughs>
Okay, so I look absolutely crazy. I look like somebody's grandmother, but don't mind that. This is just to allow the hair to cool. So I'm gonna go and um go do my makeup real quick while I just let the hair cool because I realized if you start messing with your hair right after you put heat on it and you don't allow it to cool and calm down, it'll frizz back up. So um I'm gonna go do my makeup. And keep in mind, this was my first time ever using roller, so I know I didn't do it correctly, and I only had a three-pack. So this was the only size in the beauty supply that they had of the big ones, and I didn't want small ones, because I don't want tight curls. I literally just want volume. Um, and after this, I'm not wearing my hair straight anymore. Um, I'll probably wrap it up, or get it ready for my next style so it really didn't matter anyways but yeah I will be back once my makeup is done okay makeup is done I just messed this up because I had put on my bonnet so my hair could be out of the way when I did my makeup and taking that bonnet off shot Whew, that was a struggle okay so let's go ahead and take them down so we can cut our ends y'all so I don't know if I mentioned this earlier but definitely use duck clips or um whoo. I was gonna use like these ones, but I only could find two. But use some type of duck clip. Do not use the clip that it comes with because that is going to leave like indentions in your hair and you don't want that. Okay, last one. Ouch. I'm gonna try my best to style it at the end, but anyways, for right now, um, I'm going to keep the middle part. I'm I'm gonna try to put them exact sections I just had back into my hair, if that makes sense. So that was the section I had at the bottom. Now I'm just going to like give myself some rough. I'm just gonna like roughly cut my hair because I really don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I don't know how to cut no hair. Like, do you see how uneven this is, y'all? This side is much longer. Which is crazy. So. At home trim or whatever. And these scissors just don't come for me, okay? They're actually hair scissors, but... I know they're a little janky. I'm always cutting my hair, y'all. This is this is why my hair ain't never gonna be be long. Basically, this shirt is my guide for real, for real. And I know this side is gonna have way more. So, um, like I said earlier, I was experiencing so much. Um, what is it called? So many tangles. I'm talking about like knots, you guys. Like, so I'm like, hold on. You see all them dead straight knees? I don't need that. So I'm like, hold on. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. My hair should not feel like this. Like, my hair should not be. Like, my hair should not be tangling like this. I'm talking about I had to go in there and dissect the knot. Absurd. No, ma'am. We are going into 2023 with fresh hair. No dead ends. We don't want that shit. Okay. Look at all this hair I'm cutting. Like... Okay, so now that we have clipped the ends, I'm just going to run through my roots really lightly with the hot comb just to flatten it a little bit. I told y'all I'm not trying to press my hair out, but um, 
my hair is not used to having any type of heat on it. Like, I literally probably haven't put heat on my head except for, like, a small portion in the front, like, all year. So, my roots is like, girl, what are you doing? And it's super frizzy. And it's making the look just look crazy and not tamed. So, I'm just doing the roots just a little bit. Um, now, I know y'all can see the difference that that made. Like, this is much flatter, but still, vavavium. And this is just, like, shrunken, shrinkage. Don't know what's going on. Now, this process did get rid of my, like, bump at the end, so I'm probably going to, like, redo that. But, luckily, you only got a bump. Like, you only got a bump with the um blow dryer, like, two, three times, and then you have a good curl. So, okay, you guys, so this is the final product. She's super cute. She's super healthy, but she is super fluffy and like goofy still. Um, cause it's not a press, it's a blowout. So yeah, I'm just glad to get that dead weight off of me. Those dead ends had to go. Um, when I do styles like this, I don't even worry about doing my edges. So yeah, I just like the really effortless look or whatever. I'm probably gonna try to wrap my hair tonight and. If I don't forget, I'm going to come back and like try to wrap it on camera. If not, y'all, I forgot. So, I'm going to go ahead and sign off this video. If you enjoyed this blowout tutorial, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, and follow me on Instagram at lifehood.squatchesterra. So, you always see every single thing I post, okay? So, yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, mamas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um.